Hello, my name is Jenna Lee with Splurge Events, and today I'm going to show you how to make bridal shower centerpieces on a budget. The materials you will need are wet floral foam and some water, a knife, a pair of scissors, some aluminum wire, and a mix of flowers that you might enjoy. So first you start off and you cut your floral foam to size that would fit to the size of your base. You'll place it inside, and then you're going to pour the water on top. And the floral foam is like a sponge, so keep pouring the water and it'll soak in. Once you feel like that's full, then you'll cut your mix of flowers and start placing those. And I like to start with my largest flower first. So here we've got a hydrangea. You can just pull the leaves off. And I'll cut mine usually at an angle so that they can soak up the water. And then you just press it in. Then you can take your other florals and open up space in between your large hydrangea and press those in as well. This right here is called hypericum berry and it comes with leaves like this and you can actually just hold the berries with one hand and strip the leaves off with the other hand. So they're ready just to stick in. And then this right here is called seeded eucalyptus. I love using seeded eucalyptus. I'll pull the leaves off just to make it look really clean and fresh and it has a really nice drape to it. So I like to stick that towards the bottom of my arrangement and let it just hang over the side. These are a few fun little daisies you can stick in. Make the arrangement really happy and fresh. Once you've got all of them tightly in your vase, you're ready to go. So once you have your centerpieces made, I'll show you how to make these place card holders out of teacups, your same mix of flowers, and the aluminum wire to hold your place cards. So then you take your aluminum wire and cut a piece that's about six to eight inches long. And you start with one end. You can actually, it bends very easily. So you can just bend it around your finger and you'll keep going in a circle three times. And then once you get your third circle, you'll just straighten up the end. You can cut it down if you need to. You'll place that in the center of your arrangement. And then your place card goes right in. So here's everything all set up. And you can see that I've just taken items from my kitchen, dishes and teacups and a tea service that I had passed down. I didn't even bother to polish it, just left it worn and tarnished with some character. So this is how it looks when it's all put together. I'm Jenna Lee with Splurge Events, and this is how you do bridal shower centerpieces on a budget.